The James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's most advanced instrument for exploring the cosmos, has once again delivered a revelation of monumental significance. Exclusive, high-resolution images of Pluto are fundamentally reshaping our understanding of this distant dwarf planet. Once regarded as a frozen and lifeless relic on the outer edges of our solar system, Pluto is now emerging as a complex and dynamic world teeming with secrets that defy prior scientific assumptions. The new data suggests the presence of hidden subsurface oceans, ongoing geological activity, and intricate organic chemistry that hint to the tantalizing possibility of extraterrestrial life. These revelations have stunned the scientific community. At the center of this transformation lies Sputnik Planitia, the heart-shaped plane on Pluto's surface. Once thought to be a simple expanse of frozen nitrogen ice, it is now believed to conceal a vast subsurface ocean kept in a liquid state by insulation from a thick layer of ice above. If confirmed, this hidden ocean could be among the most significant discoveries in the search for life beyond Earth, offering a stable and protected environment where microbial organisms might exist. Pluto's surface itself continues to perplex scientists, featuring towering ice mountains that rival the height of Earth's tallest peaks and vast regions of smooth terrain suggesting recent or ongoing geological activity. Such signs of internal dynamism were completely unexpected for an object once assumed to be geologically inert and frozen in time. Beneath its icy crust, Pluto likely harbors internal heat generated by the slow radioactive decay of elements within its rocky core. This heat drives convective movement of nitrogen ice, indicating that Pluto is geologically alive. This internal activity places Pluto alongside icy moons like Jupiter's Europa and Saturn's Enceladus, both considered prime candidates in the search for life beyond Earth. The discovery that liquid water and organic molecules might interact beneath Pluto's surface challenges the traditional view of habitable zones, which were long defined by proximity to a star. Now, scientists are expanding their understanding of what makes a world habitable, focusing more on internal conditions than location in the solar system. Adding to Pluto's allure is its unique gravitational relationship with its largest moon, Charon. The two bodies are almost equal in size, creating a binary system where each exerts significant gravitational influence on the other. This constant interaction likely produces internal heat on both worlds, potentially driving geological and chemical changes. Charon, too is mysterious, marked by vast canyons and reddish patches thought to be formed by complex organic compounds. Some researchers even suggest that material may be exchanged between Pluto and Charon, possibly facilitating the transfer of life-building chemicals. These discoveries were made possible by the James Webb Space Telescope's powerful infrared capabilities, which allow scientists to peer through Pluto's icy exterior and study its internal structure and atmospheric composition in unprecedented detail. While earlier missions like New Horizons provided breathtaking surface imagery and some compositional data, JWST's sensitivity has unveiled new layers of understanding. Analysis of Pluto's thin atmosphere, for example, has revealed that despite its low pressure, it contains nitrogen, methane, and carbon dioxide, which form layered hazes that stretch hundreds of miles into space. As Pluto travels through its elongated orbit around the Sun, the atmosphere undergoes dramatic seasonal transformations, sublimating from surface ice into gas when Pluto is closer to the Sun and freezing back onto the surface as it moves away. This cyclical process is unique and provides scientists with an exceptional opportunity to study atmospheric evolution under extreme conditions. Another fascinating revelation is the presence of tholins on both Pluto and Charon. These reddish organic molecules form when ultraviolet radiation breaks down methane in the atmosphere. Tholins are believed to be chemical precursors to life, and their formation hints at the kind of prebiotic chemistry that may have occurred on early Earth. Scientists are now investigating how these compounds interact with Pluto's water, ice, and other organic materials below the surface. Could these interactions lead to life-sustaining chemical reactions? It is a question that researchers are beginning to take seriously. The possibility that Pluto hosts an ocean beneath its crust, kept in a liquid state by internal heat, offers a tantalizing analog to Earth's deep-sea hydrothermal vents, 
where life thrives in darkness, powered not by sunlight, but by chemical energy. If similar conditions exist beneath Pluto's icy shell, entire ecosystems could theoretically be sustained in isolation. The thermal signatures detected by Webb, along with surface variations and tectonic features, support the theory of subsurface reservoirs and ongoing geological movement. The recent release of classified web data and high-resolution imagery has ignited global excitement. Scientists, governments, and the public alike are captivated by Pluto's transformation from a forgotten icy rock to a potential cradle of life. The implications stretch far beyond Pluto. They challenge long-standing assumptions about habitability and demand a re-evaluation of similar icy worlds like Neptune's moon Triton, the dwarf planet Ceres, and even free-floating rogue planets that wander between stars. The scientific community is now preparing for a new phase of exploration. Missions are being conceptualized to send orbiters, landers, and even robotic submarines capable of penetrating Pluto's ice and exploring its hidden ocean. While technologically daunting, these missions represent the next logical step in humanity's journey to understand the outer solar system. Future spacecraft could orbit Pluto for extended periods, deploy rovers to its surface, or carry ice-melting probes and mini-submarines to explore its depths. Simultaneously, researchers are examining Pluto's interactions with the broader Kuiper belt. Despite lacking a strong magnetic field like Earth's, Webb has detected patterns of charged particles and energy around Pluto, likely the result of solar wind and its interaction with Kuiper belt material. This shows that even distant worlds engage dynamically with their cosmic surroundings. These interactions include exchanges of dust and icy particles, transient plumes from surface eruptions, and micrometeoroid impacts, all of which reshape Pluto's surface. Far from being a passive frozen outpost, Pluto is now seen as a world of active processes influenced by both internal energy and external cosmic forces. This growing list of Pluto's enigmas is helping to reshape planetary science. As spacecraft prepare to push deeper into the Kuiper belt, Pluto stands as a beacon of complexity and potential, challenging assumptions about what makes a planet alive. It is no longer simply a cold, remote curiosity. It is a key piece in the broader cosmic puzzle suggesting that life's building blocks may be more widespread than previously imagined. The public response has been equally enthusiastic. Pluto is once again a cultural icon. Once dismissed as a cold, distant rock on the edge of our solar system, it has re-emerged in the public imagination as a symbol of mystery, resilience, and the unexpected wonders the universe can hold. Its transformation from a demoted planet to a frontier of scientific intrigue has captured hearts and minds alike. In classrooms around the world, students are sketching its icy plains, heart-shaped basins, and towering frozen mountains. Teachers are weaving Pluto's story into lessons about planetary science, the search for life, and how scientific understanding evolves with new discoveries. For a new generation, Pluto isn't just a name from a dusty astronomy chart. It's a living, changing world that challenges our assumptions about where life can exist. Newsrooms, too, have found in Pluto a compelling story. Headlines speak of hidden oceans, organic chemistry, and geological dynamism, sparking debates about how we define a habitable world. Science communicators and space journalists are turning Pluto into a touchstone for larger discussions about our place in the cosmos weaving it into the narrative of humanity's ongoing journey into space. Online forums, social media platforms, and science channels are ablaze with conversations. Amateur astronomers trade telescope images, artists reimagine Pluto in breathtaking detail, and science enthusiasts share theories about what might lie beneath its icy crust. Memes and short videos celebrate its return to cultural relevance, blending humor with awe. In the digital age, Pluto has found not just an audience, but a community of people invested in its story. As the revelations about Pluto continue to unfold, their implications are sending ripples across the scientific landscape. The discovery of potential subsurface oceans and the presence of complex organic molecules have forced planetary scientists to revisit the question, what truly makes a world habitable? For decades, habitability was largely defined by location whether a planet or moon fell within the so-called Goldilocks zone. 
the region around a star where temperatures allow for liquid water to exist on the surface. But Pluto, orbiting billions of miles from the Sun in frigid darkness, breaks that mold entirely. It suggests that internal heat, chemical activity, and subsurface oceans could sustain life even in the far reaches of a solar system. This shift in perspective has profound consequences. Worlds once written off as barren, icy moons, dwarf planets, and even free-floating rogue worlds may now be seen as viable candidates for life. The criteria for exploration are widening, and missions that once seemed low priority are now gaining momentum. The outer solar system, once viewed as a cold and static region, is now recognized as a potential haven for life. It is no longer a cosmic wasteland, but a frontier rich in geological activity, chemical complexity, and perhaps even biological potential. Pluto's journey from obscurity to the forefront of planetary science is more than just an astronomical story. It's a reminder that the universe is full of surprises. Even the most distant, overlooked worlds may hold the keys to answering humanity's oldest question, are we alone? This shift in thinking owes much to the unprecedented capabilities of the James Webb Space Telescope, which has opened our eyes to an entirely new realm of planetary science. Webb's ability to detect thermal variations, trace chemical signatures, and analyze the faintest light emissions has given researchers a tool unlike any ever built. And in Pluto, Webb has found a world full of surprises, one that defies its diminutive status and challenges everything we thought we knew about planetary evolution.